Hello, I'm Deathseeker512, and in today's tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you how to set up Forge. Um, this will be my first tutorial in creating mods, mods for Minecraft using, well, Minecraft Forge. So what you want to do is open up your browser. So, like, Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, whatever you feel like. Um, yeah, so then head over to the Minecraft Forge. Uh, website which is minecraftforge.net um, then scroll down to releases of course yeah, okay uh, I already assume that you have like Eclipse uh, actually no I want to assume that um, that you have the Java JDK there are a lot of tutorials on how to set that up so I'm not going to go through that so go to the latest one and download the source version. Um, either add flyer direct, cause yeah. So then after the ad's gone, in about two seconds, one zero, you skip ad and it will start downloading. And now once that done, go and uh, once that's done, go into the directory that it is downloaded into yeah that's downloaded no correction uh, <laughs> okay so what I'll be using is the Eclipse IDE so so if you make your way over to eclipse.org and downloads you can download any of these I just downloaded that one um, it doesn't really matter which one you download as long as it's for uh, Java so this one's also fine uh, probably not this one definitely not this one uh, yeah so anyway download whichever version is right for your computer um, you'll most of you will probably be using Windows but once you get that downloaded uh, install it it's, it's you guys should know how to install stuff so I'm not gonna go through that either um, so then, go over to the directory of which it is at, um, I like using the terminal for all this stuff, so bear with me, <laughs> bear with me, um, so go into your downloads folder and unzip it, so, Uh, you can use WinRAR, 7-Zip. Um, I'm using File Roller on Linux because, you know, it's just what I use. Um, extract the folder wherever you want your uh, mod workspace to be. So for me, I'll have put all my Java stuff into, the jo into my Java Projects folder. So I'll just extract it there. And once it's done, close out of it and make your way over to that and then go into the forge folder and you'll see that there are that there are uh, several different things what you want to worry about is the install now if you are in Windows, you want to use the install.cmd. Um, yeah, if you are using Mac, Linux, or Unix, you want to use the install.sh. But before you use the install.sh, you want to either do slash bin slash bash and then dot slash install dot sh, or you can just do chmod plus x and then install.sh um, forge is not as hard to install as it used to be so uh, if you're in windows you want to double click the install and it will have an icon that looks well um, 
I see what I mean. Like, um, give me a sec. I'm sorry. Uh, which one? Which one? Like this. I have some. It'll have the symbol that looks like this. Um, I don't know about what symbol it would use in Mac. Um, so then you want to double click that, or if you're a Mac, double click install.sh or in the terminal or whatever. Uh, you want to then run it. And this takes a bit, but. What Forge has done, r kind of recently, I guess, is instead of you already having to have MCP downloaded and that set up, uh, the install script does that for you now. So once that is done, uh, I will show you what to do from there. Um, this takes a while, so I'm just going to skip ahead. What this will do is it will unpack, well, not unpack, but decompile. Okay, no, it will download, <laughs> sorry, um, MCP and the jars for the Minecraft and all the other stuff. Also, the requirements that it u needs so that it can run, of course. Um, so then it will go through and decompile the Minecraft client and then the server. And now I will skip ahead and show you what to do after it's done. Um, if there are any problems while it's doing this, uh, you would probably have to Google the solution because I may or may not be able to help you. So. Once this is done, I uh, will show you what to do. Huh? If you have been waiting a while and it's still not done, just wait longer. Once that is done, which this took a really long time, like, yeah, you can see the time difference. Um, open up Eclipse. Uh, if For most of you, it's probably going to be on your desktop. Me, because I'm weird, I have it, I do, I have other things. So, you can go ahead and close this out if it is up. But yeah, it should be done. Um, don't see the server in here, but I'm pretty sure, the, yeah, okay. Um, and so what you wanna do is you wanna hit browse Go to your projects folder and then go into Forge, MCP, Eclipse, and hit OK. And OK. And then once this loads, that should pretty much be it. So, now once Eclipse is up, you'll have a Minecraft folder over here with source and here's where you're going to be doing all of your modding um, you don't actually want to edit any of the Java files in any of these um, but you can go through and look th through everything but what you would want to do is make a new package, and I'll go over how to do that in the next video. So if you enjoyed this, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video because, well, I enjoyed making it. If it helped you at all, please like, and if you want to see more videos, subscribe. Thank you, and goodbye.